Hey, my name is Joel Edwards. I'm a student here at JTEC, Jacksonville, Florida. And today I'm going to be doing a component ID and a static and active pressure read of the HVAC system, specifically an orifice tube type. Okay, so right here we have the compressor, and uh, the compressor changes the low pressure gases into high pressure gases. It is also um, divides the low and high pressure uh, sections of the HVAC system. All right, so from the compressor, we follow these lines up and around over to these lines, which lead into the condenser. Now, the condenser turns the high pressure gas into a high pressure liquid. Uh, it does so by allowing the ambient air to oh, to uh, cool the refrigerant. Um, this line all the way over here until we get here. That's the orifice tube. It uh, it only allows a small amount of the high pressure liquid to go through, and there's also a small mesh bit in there. There's a small amount of filtration. I'm gonna follow that all the way back here until we get to the to the evaporator. Um, that runs through here changes the low pressure get low pressure liquid into a low pressure gas once it ex exits the orifice tube um, let's see it absorbs heat through evaporation then we're gonna follow it back around let's see back around here you can see this line kind of and that is gonna meet up here to the accumulator uh, the accumulator, you know, it gets rid of any sort of sediments or moisture in the system. Um, keep the refrigerant clean before, once again, it comes back to the compressor. Alright, so I've identified the components. Now I'm going to do a static pressure reading using this tool here. Going to hook up our, our lines, get the low pressure, get the high pressure. Tell them apart by size, there's really no mixing these up. I got my low pressure here. Turn on. Got my high pressure here. I'm gonna open up the valves. Not too fast, you don't want to damage the uh, valve itself. Alright, so my low pressure side right here, I'm reading about 69 degrees, 69 psi, which is good. It's about 69 degrees in the room, so. It's tip top. We got enough pressure for the uh, compressor to start up, and you know, should it start up from this, we know it's not anything electrical. So that's our static reading. All right, so I got the vehicle turned on, AC is cranking full blast, fans all the way up, uh, low temperatures I can get it. I'm gonna get my active reading now. Let's see, and being a or the tube system, you can look here. The reading is. See, it's rising up as the compressor's turning on and turning off. See the, uh, see if you can see that turning there. Right down the bottom there. Alright, so if you look right there, you can see the compressor turning off and on to regulate the uh, coolant flow pressure. There it is, off. And on, off, and on. That's the uh, clutch activating and disengaging. Okay, so from the readings we can determine that this thing is going up to about 34 and stopping on the low pressure side. That's good. Uh, slight problem on the high pressure side. Uh, it's supposed to be hitting about 135, but it's stopping about 100. 